can you tell me a little bit more about breast ultrasound and breast MRI as techniques? Ultrasound is a very important technique when a woman detects a mass or a clinician detects a mass. It's very important because it can really differentiate a solid mass from a fluid fill mass. The ultrasound will show if there's fluid fill, which a fluid fill mass is most likely a cyst or an abscess. A solid fill mass is which is a mass that is more likely suspicious, but what the ultrasound can also show us is if there is blood flow. So what the radiologist and the technology group, um, team does, first they determine is it a fluid fill mass, is it a solid mass? All right, if it's a fluid fill mass, they will determine if it is a cyst or if it's a complex cyst. A simple cyst is just completely fluid. If it's a complex cyst, it may have some little bits of solid material mixed in with the fluid. Sometimes it's a complicated cyst where it's have a little fluid, a little bits of solid, and it's, the borders are just a little bit irregular, um, but they will term it a complicated cyst. Now let's go over to the solid mass. When they look at the solid mass, they would say it's a solid mass, it's round edges, it's you know completely solid. Now they will look to see, is there a blood flow? If there's a blood flow, it tells me there are cells in it that's alive. Cells need oxygen and, and circulation to survive. So now it steps, it, the concern of suspicion is a little bit elevated. So now we, you have to determine if it's a, um, if the cells looks, if the tumor looks suspicious, is it irregular? Um, how is the blood flowing? So from the solid mass, when there's no blood flow, you can tell if it's just fibrous tissue, if it's a fibroadenoma. When it is blood flow, that is the mass that we want to make sure that we biopsy. They may grade that as a BIRADS4 for biopsy. That's the term used in radiology. Typically, when that mass is biopsied, you would get different types of information from the pathology. But understanding the importance of the ultrasound is, is key to diagnostic workup of a suspicious finding of a breast mass. Because I tell, a lot of times I tell patients, I said, uh, a lot of times they're like, I need an MRI, I need a breast, uh, a mammogram, I said, no we're gonna start with an ultrasound. And they said, no, I need an MRI. I said, the MRI is not gonna give us the information we need. We need to start from differentiating if it's fluid, if it's solid. And then once we know if it's suspicious, then we can go from there and do further. So very, it's very common that once we get blood flow, then we can go to a diagnostic mammogram. And we could say, okay, let's see what this really is. But if we just get a simple cyst, and we know it's an abscess, the work is done. We can aspirate the cyst if it's painful, or we can treat the abscess, we can aspirate it, or we can treat them with antibiotics. So that's where the ultrasound become important. For the breast MRI, the M breast MRI is another diagnostic tool, and it's very important. We often use the breast MRI for for sometimes I'll tell you, let's let me give you an example. A patient may appear in clinic with a rash around the nipple, an itchy rash around the nipple. And I may do a punch biopsy of that rash and it may come back as Paget's disease. So now we have to do workup in the breast to see if there's a mass of any kind. We may do a mammogram, we may do an ultrasound and there's no mass. We will do a breast MRI because we know the MRI is more sensitive. So if there's any kind of lesion or any changes in the breast, the MRI will pick up what the mammogram did not pick up. So that's one instance we will do an MRI. Another instance we'll do an MRI is a patient has bloody nipple discharge. 
and we do a ultrasound, we do a mammogram, looking to see if there's a dilated duct or a lesion, a common lesion that can cause a nipple discharge as a papilloma. And we're looking for this change, but we can't find it on an ultrasound or mammogram. We will go to a breast MRI and we will find that lesion through the MRI. Another reason we may do a, a breast MRI is that we may actually uh, biopsy a patient who had a BIRAD4 typical mass, and it is a cancer, and now we're planning surgery. And we, before we decide on if a lumpectomy is appropriate for that patient, we want to make sure if there's any additional disease in that breast. We want to rule that out. We don't want to, we want to do the best surgery once. So we will do an MRI to screen that breast to make sure there's no other abnormality in that breast or the contralateral or the opposite breast. And that's the reason we will do the breast MRI. So the MRI is a very good tool, but it, is, it should not be used as a primary screening. It should be used as a secondary screening if something is not picked up on a mammogram and an ultrasound. And I often say that because sometimes patients would say, I had breast cancer and my cancer was not picked up on mammogram. So now I want to do annual MRI. I say, no, we got to start back with the mammogram. I said, actually, we have better technology with the 3D TOMO mammogram. And when you were diagnosed, you had 2D uh, mammogram. So 3D is a better option for you. So always start with a mammogram and then we'll work it up that way.